Hey folks, good afternoon. This past Sunday, we talked about how because you and I are sinners and we are far from perfect, we struggle with doubt at times. And that's just the reality of life. That's the reality of sin, one of the realities of sin. And so we talked about going from doubt to pursuit, that when you struggle with those doubts, you struggle with those fears, you struggle with that discouragement, pursue Jesus, look to him, turn to him. And so we're going to continue this week as we go through this four-week series, Help My Unbelief, Dealing with Doubt. We're going to talk about uh, when you have those doubts, when you have those struggles, what's the result of it? It's the things of the world, right? The things of the world and our sin and our, and our struggles, they come from the, the things around us and from the things within us, the worldly things that, that bring us down. And yet so often we try to attack those doubts, we try to deal with those doubts with things of the world, and that just doesn't work. And so we're going to talk about going from doubt to change, experience the change that only comes in and through uh, that biblical reality, that biblical truth that we need Jesus and we need to receive his spirit. We need to respond to his word. And so we're going to talk about going from worldly doubt to biblical change. And that's what we're going to look at Sunday. We're going to go into the, the, the climax of the Gospel of Matthew, kind of the turning point of the Gospel of Matthew. And that's Peter's confession to Jesus on who he is and then Jesus' response to Peter, and specifically when Peter kind of confronted Jesus, saying, you know, no, Jesus, you're not going to die on the cross for us. And, and Jesus said, get behind me, Satan. And so we're going to look at that in Matthew 16, that, that famous passage, and see what that can teach us about going from doubt to change, going from that worldly perspective to a biblical perspective in dealing with our struggles. So I hope that you'll join us on Sunday morning at 9 o'clock for our prayer gathering, then at 9.30 for family groups and at 1040 for our worship celebration. I'm looking forward to worshiping with you. Let's gather together as the body of Christ. Let's encourage one another to go from doubt to change.